How do you measure the amperage of a wire using a multimeter? How can you tell if a breaker is bad? And how do you size breakers? Today, we're going to be covering those three things. Hope you're healthy, happy, and you're ready to learn. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. There is a breaker that is bad inside this box. This double pole 60 amp breaker goes to my air handler, which has my heater kit. This 30 amp breaker goes to my outdoor air conditioning system, my condenser, my outdoor unit. We're going to turn our meter on and I am going to use my meter leads and start at the very top. We got two uh, power legs coming into the box. We got one neutral and that is the black wire with the white tape and then we've got a ground right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from here to here and let me see what it says. 215 volts. Now let's take it off and now if we measure from ground to each side it should be about half. So 124 to this leg and then 124 to this leg. Now we should have power going to our air handler. I wasn't on there. Okay. So now I'm on there. Got 215 volts. Now my air conditioner is where I'm having my problems. So I'm going to check voltage to this breaker. Okay. Got it on there. Uh, good. 60 volts. You can see that. 62 volts. I'm going to take it off. Boop. Okay. Back to auto. Now, this breaker is only outputting 60 volts. I need 230 volts. You see, you saw I had 215 up here, or I need 220 volts. So, turn this off. Doesn't feel very good. Doesn't feel like it's, oh yeah, there's something wrong here. So what do I need to do now? I probably need to flip it, check it one more time, see if that changed anything. Only 62 volts, yeah. We definitely have a problem. I'm gonna turn this breaker off. I'm gonna push it. And this is the square D box. And now I'm gonna take a look. Now I'm gonna check the bars, see if I have any rust. I don't have any rust. So I got a good connection. Let's see if I have any rust here. I don't have any rust. I don't have any burn marks internally. There is something wrong with this breaker. And how do I know this? Well, what I can do is I can take my meter leads with my meter still on and I can go in here and I can put one meter lead to each bar that that breaker connects to. I'm going to make sure you can see this. Okay. 215 volts. There's, so there's no reason why this breaker should not output that voltage because I know it has the voltage. Now what I can do is I can put it back in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can turn it back on. Maybe the, the uh, little clips in the back of that breaker were loose. Maybe it wasn't connected very well. Nope. 62 volts. So that's a bad breaker. Now, I've got on this breaker right here, right above it, again, we're gonna measure and see, it says 214. So I got voltage coming into the box. I got voltage to the breaker right above it. This is a 30 amp square D breaker. Let's see if I got any unused. Oh, there's a 30 amp. So I'm gonna take this one, okay? Oh, and I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to swap them out. So now all I need to do that is a flathead screwdriver. Let's get them swapped out and make the check again. All right. So here is the breaker that we are going to take out. Taking that one out. It really doesn't look bad, but there's something internally wrong. 
most of the time you can tell when it's bad. It's burnt. There's been some type of loose connection. I'm glad there's a spare in here. That saves me some time. Saves the customer some money. And that's very nice. There are different types of breakers. Make sure you know which one you're dealing with. And if you have a breaker you know nothing about and it's bad and you need to find a replacement, take the old breaker with you that you plan on replacing. Go to the supply house and ask. Next, we're going to measure the amp draw. 30 with a 30. All right, now, using my meter, old breaker out, new breaker in. All right, what do we got now? 212 volts, perfect. So now we can turn the air conditioning system on and measure the amp draw and make sure that that wire is not pulling more than the rating of this breaker. We wanna make sure that it's below 30, at least by a few amps. Because if this wire is pulling more than 30 amps, then it's going to trip this breaker or burn it up. But this wire right here is only number 10 wire, so it's not even rated for more than 30 amps. So if we end up pulling more than 30 amps and this breaker was a bigger than 30 amp breaker, we could end up burning uh, a connection uh, in this wire. And you don't want that. All right. Turn it on cooling. Bypass the delay. One, two, three, four. Ka-ching! Now, let's take this meter, field piece SC440, go to AAC and hit select. And we're going to wrap this around one of these lines and see what we're pulling. Five amps. Wow. Six amps. Okay. Wow. Well, that's well below 30. Let's go check out the air conditioning system and talk about breaker sizing now. Looks like my outdoor unit is actually on and working, which is nice. You can see that it is rated for a max fuse breaker of 20 amps. So that 30 amp breaker there is a little too big for this unit. It actually, the wire is fine because this unit, you could use a number 12 wire, a 12 2, but it's got a 10 2. But the max fuse is only 20. So it really should be a 20 amp breaker. And that's what needs to be installed in place of that 30. So you always gonna go, wanna go by the max fuse breaker. You always wanna look at the uh, data plate and see exactly what you should use for your wire. By looking at this 20 amp, I know for sure, hey, I can use a 12-2, I can use a 10-2 wire, and I need a 20 amp double pole breaker. Now, we're gonna take our meter, and also, you can look at this. Uh, let's see, minimum circuit ampicity is 12. So this is what it should pull, or around this. Now conditions may vary, and that also will kind of determine whether or not what it's gonna pull, so let's see if we're pulling what we were earlier. Jumping around, must be my meter. It's not very steady. About seven amps. All right. Now let's check out our volts and turn the meter on. Get the meter leads. Check out the contact there. Two thirteen. Okay. Contactor looking a little black on the contacts. Capacitor looks new, 35.5. Got a potential relay, start capacitor, defrost board. This potential relay drops the start winding out, 
after the compressor starts up. This is a start capacitor, so it's an oversized one of these for starting that compressor motor. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about breakers. I'm gonna close this up and then we'll end the video. If you wanna learn how to get your electrician license, I did a video on how I got my license, the books I use, where I took the test, and advice and tips on how to get that electrician license. Go check out the video, I put it down below for you. This is a thermal imaging camera and I'm looking at a hot spot inside this box. And the hot spot is that breaker that we just replaced. See? See that? This is a really cool tool that you can use to check out electrical boxes and to find out if you have issues inside the box. And looks like we've got a couple different issues. We got that lug right there that's an issue, which it may be loose. And then we've got this breaker. So we still got some problems. This is a SC240N, just in case you want to check this out. It's around 300 bucks. Link in the description for this. So just in case you don't have any experience whatsoever, these are double pole breakers, right? These are single pole breakers. These are for your lighting circuits, your receptacles. This is for your range, your stove, your dryer, your air conditioning system, maybe your um, heater. 230 volts, you have a double pole breaker. 115, you have a single pole breaker. So that means any of these single poles, if I take and check from here to ground, I should have about 120 volts. What do I have? 125 volts. Any of these double pole breakers, if I check from L1 to L2, 215 volts. Went ahead and took that breaker out. Gonna check that spot where the breaker was. And we may have a problem with this panel. It's awfully rusted and it could need replacement. Those breakers could need to be upgraded. I'm going to recommend that they do some work inside this box and upgrade. This right here is a 60 amp breaker that controls that air handle like I said earlier with the heater kit. That's number six wire. And then these are 30 amp breakers, double pole, and that's number 10 wire. The wire coming in to the main lugs is number two wire. If you want a wire sizing guide, I've got a little guide that I wrote out and put together. Click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments that you joined and I'll send you that guide through email. And I've got a bunch of other guides that I can send you as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover on the load center or the breaker panel, and I am going to close everything up. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to be safe around electricity, electrical panels. Anything that's carrying electricity can be very dangerous, so always use the right equipment, use the right gear, the protective uh, gloves and glasses, and do lockout tag out if you need to. Definitely be safe, otherwise you may be sorry because you made the wrong mistake. It's like standing in some water and you get shocked and that's all it takes. So be careful out there and stay healthy and stay happy. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you learned. If you did learn something, let me know down there. If you have a question, definitely ask the question. Questions can become content. I will try to get to all the questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't have a question, let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. Hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be sure and go check out those other videos. I'm going to drop a couple more short videos about checking breaker panels and bad breakers. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.